Today is Sunday and it's the 15th of October 2023. Uh, we're halfway through the month of October more or less. And uh, we're back down in Palmanova. We were here last night, came for a walk last night, and uh, we saw that they were setting up for the fair. But about uh, five, six o'clock this morning, we had the most incredible downpour in uh, Geneva where we live. It looked as though it might not have rained quite so much here, but it was really a deluge in, uh, in Geneva and uh, obviously over Palma. We've got rain all around us, there's black clouds and uh, we can see rain over the sea, but um, it doesn't seem to have put the people off in Parmenova because the fair is actually here. Some of the stalls we saw yesterday in Algaida, well, <laughs> they're here as well, including the first one, which is a craft beer uh, stall. And unfortunately, uh, they're playing very loud music, so I may well have to cut some of the sound out as we walk along. Now, before we do walk along, just a view out to sea and uh, there's very clear clouds and rain pouring down into the sea there. And uh, over onto the other side, past Palma, uh, there's a, a lot of rain over there. We seem to have a little bit of brighter skies. In fact, there's even some blue sky over there, so maybe we'll escape some of it. Uh, people getting ready to go into the sea. Some beds have all been stacked ready, whether anybody will be using them tonight, today, I don't know. Temperature's supposed to have dropped five degrees or around about. And, uh, well, it does feel a little bit cooler, but it's very humid. Uh, and as you notice the heart, well, it's the stump of the heart. We've got the bolts there and the nuts. And we've come down fairly early because we didn't really know what was going to be on. Um, but uh, there's affairs in other parts of the island today and uh, the one we plan to go to is the one in Yochmayor, which we may still do later on or see. Uh, so we're down here, came down about half past ten. It's all very early. Your name put on a pearl there. Better eyesight than me. And the henna tattoos. Hey Steve. Hey, hello. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. No, it's just heard the voice, did you? And you recognised the voice, did you? <laughs> we were walking down and we said, what's the chance of meeting Steve and Ada? <laughs> sure enough. We're from Northern Ireland, we've been watching a few of your yeah, videos. Yeah, very, oh, very good. There you go, from Northern Ireland. The big question is, will there... Uh, Will the weather put people off or will it bring people out? Not when, we, people here now, when we came out yesterday, there were signs on the opposite side of the road saying no parking from six o'clock in the morning. And there's obviously lots of cars parked along there. So maybe that's been kicked into touch. And uh, it's uh, all artisan crafty things. The gentleman from Northern Ireland was saying that uh, he came at exactly the same time last year and this fair was on then. And where did they say they'd seen it advertised? On Facebook. On Facebook, yeah. Anita caught it on Facebook and then it sort of disappeared. Um, I must have missed it. It's a note to the organisers, if you want people to come, you need to advertise it somewhere. And, uh, and keep advertising. What's all a little more long one, the neck one? Eh? No problem. Pass the cam blank and they've got music on, so again, I might have an issue with sound here. 
Well, the winter, winter woolies are coming out, darling. <laughs> It does feel warm and humid today though, so the temperature may well have dropped a little bit, but it certainly doesn't feel cold. I think the stalls have been brought to this side that might have been in the road if they were close the road, I think they decided not to close the road. Nice wooden crafts over here. Hello. Alison and David Lecky. Yeah, thank Hi. you. Pleased to, to, to meet you too. Northern Ireland. Northern We're just Northern going Ireland. home tomorrow. Oh, nice right. Well, you just managed to catch us then. Yes. Nice to meet you. Enjoy your... That was Alison and David Lecker from, uh, from Northern Ireland. Uh, and, uh, well, they'd hoped to see us today. We weren't sure <laughs> really whether we were going to be coming down. But uh, well, there's another vermouth for you, darling. You know, I know you like those. I tried this one. <laughs> Oh, this looks like yesterday we were looking at classic cars and uh, this morning let me just uh, bend my camera around you can have a look at the uh, the smaller versions of them How cool are they? Children can have a little ride in a classic car, or oh, they can even ride the ball over here. Hang on, Ian. Twelve. Lost Anita. Oh, just so I wasn't sure how much rain they had down here, but this is what you get when the rain come down down comes down so strongly it just washes parts of the beach away so the rain has come down here and you can see the mess that it's actually caused washing the sand down to the sea oh, I saw these bicycles here and I thought there was just somebody just parked them here but they're actually all for sale and uh, they're actually for sale by Caritas and uh, Caritas is a, a cha means charity, some New York charity. So you can get yourself a bicycle at a really knockdown bike, so a price. So for example, here's a folding bike. These being sold by the Caritas. Yeah, they were, would normally cost you a lot of money. This is uh, all available, you can ride away from here. Looks like the tires are already blown up for 60 euros. Well, you want something different. And then they've got lots of other things on the stall here, raising money for the island. I've actually been to the factory, the place where they make these. So they take these uh, toys and our school used to um, collect them and then once they got them they, they would clean them up, tidy them up and then they make these boxes. All of these boxes are actually made on the site and uh, give somebody a job and uh, they repackage them and then sell them so that's really good and then we've got a whole selection of books as well a bit early for a mojito and uh, here they're going to be making the umbrellas here's the stage that was up and uh, well maybe 
they've decided that they can't have the entertainment that uh, was planned for that. Uh, so there's nothing apparently there, we'll see. There's lots going on in Palma today, Palma Marathon, so a little bit uh, chaotic there. In Pagera, there's a triathlon. In the north of the island, there's some more sporting events. It's a really busy, busy weekend here in Mallorca. Shall we go and have a cup of coffee? I think we'll go and have a cup of coffee, definitely. We're not going to walk any further. We did do a video last night where we walked all the whole length of Palma over 16,000 steps worth. And uh, well, we deserve to drink after that. But uh, this morning we're not going to do very much. We're just going to go and have a, a coffee and then, uh, well, and then we'll go on to the next little stage of our busy day today. Cross over here, do you? You can see now. Largely dry, but you can see the puddles that were left by the torrential rain that we had last night, this morning. Can we find a table? I'm sure we'll find a table. Well, it's nice to see that they did actually carry on with the little fair. I think it's probably a little bit smaller than they'd anticipated. Um, the cars were not supposed to be parked on this side of the road. There were no parking signs when we walked down last night. They've all disappeared and there are cars parked here today. Uh, but I think there are other events. There's the volleyball competition, which is going on a little bit further down the beach, uh, on the middle beach in uh, Palma Nova. So it's just, just so much going on and uh, being a little bit let down by the weather. It's not cold by any means. It's just uh, a little bit damp. Anyway, we've decided we'll stop off for a coffee, so uh, here we are in the Cheers beehive. again. We were here this time last night. It's not this time last night, but we were here yeah. not long ago. I think we're taking up residency this weekend. <laughs> but uh, it's very grey and it's a little bit threatening, so there could be a few more spots of rain to come yet. But we did spot some pies, and I think we're going to call in there on the way back and maybe get one for this evening. Looks good to me. Good. And she's got a smile on her face. If you're good. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure whether I'm going to do any more, but if I don't, thanks very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. Well, the rain's decided to come down.